I'm going to show you how to set up a gorgeous charcuterie board for any gathering you might be hosting. The key is to use a really nice board like this one as your blank canvas. Set up the cheeses and fill in the holes with little bowls and jars of all the little accoutrements you picked up. Plan to shop for four to five cheeses. Five is my sweet spot, especially if you're hosting a larger gathering. So we have a variety of cheeses here. We have five cheeses and they're all a mix of milks. So we have blue cheese, we have goat, we have sheep, and I'm gonna show you how to cut them and set it all up. So for something like this, like manchego, you wanna follow the natural shape of the cheese. Okay, the next cheese, if you have something round like this, this is a mini Kunic, it's one of my favorite cheeses, but something like this or a mini Camembert, for example, something round, you want to just kind of guide your guests into how to eat the cheese. So you just wanna cut this in half, and then in that half, just cut little wedges. And I just wanna show you that for a blue cheese like this one, you don't have to do much to it, but I really love just slicing it in half. It adds a little bit of dimension when you put it in the charcuterie board. Okay, so now that we have our cheese all ready to go and cut, let's start assembling our board. I'm gonna start by placing this Humboldt fog, which is stunning, right in the middle of my board at the center. Then I'm going to put the cunic right on top of that. And I like to have fun with these since they have such a fun triangle shape. Sometimes I like to just like have them face up or you can also just like shingle them like this for something a little bit cleaner. Okay, so this next one here is a mimolette, which is a French cow's milk aged cheese. And for something like this that's a little bit harder to slice, this could also apply for a cheddar or a parmigiano reggiano. You're gonna place it right on the board where you want it, you're gonna go in with a knife and you're just gonna crumble it right on there. Last but not least is our blue cheese. So I like to just kind of lay one down and have one sticking straight up like this. So just how you wanna get a variety of cheeses on the charcuterie board, you also wanna make sure you have a variety of textures on here too. So that means crunchy nuts, you want sweet fruit. Okay, so now we're just going to add all of this on the board and fill the holes around the cheese. And it doesn't matter where you place them, really what you're doing now is just filling in the holes and making it look as robust as possible. Okay, so let's get our fruit onto the board. One of my favorite tricks is to cut the grapes into their individual bunches with kitchen shears so that people automatically just grab their own bunch instead of trying to grab this whole large thing and then things end up on the floor. Okay, some really bright apricots like these are also wonderful to add. You can add any other dried fruit you might have, but these are nice and juicy and plump and add gorgeous color as well. Okay, so now let's add some tasty cured meat onto the board. For prosciutto, you're just going to gently drape it on the board. For sliced meat with more of a round shape, just Fold it in half and in half again, and you're gonna place it up just like this on the board, because it's just gonna look like it's blooming. Okay, so let's get some crackers on the board. It's really important what the vehicle for all of this cheese will be. For tall crackers like this, I love putting them in a little jar, which will also give the charcuterie board a little bit of height. So the finishing touch to your charcuterie board should be a really beautiful bundle of herbs. You can have it sticking up a little bit, or you can have it laying down, but it will add beautiful freshness. Last but not least, just make sure that you have some serving utensils for everyone to pick and choose what they want. A charcuterie board with all the fixings is a crowd favorite, so get ready to wow all of your guests. 